I will do. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but do you have AP and GP there? Yeah. With the AP and GP, do you, is there certain ones you want to see? Or just the one where it's mixed together? Well, it's mixed together. I think that's what someone else said, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll do one like that then. Do you have it there? Yeah. Okay. So AP and GP now. Uh, so I'll write down the information for you. Not the first one. We did the first one. All right. Then the second one. Yeah. Well, then which one? There's only four of them. All of them. All right, number four. So the first, uh, the fifth, and the eleventh terms of an AP series are consecutive terms in a GP series. Consecutive. And I also tell you that the seventh term. So what was that first? Wait. Okay. The seventh term is 42. Okay, thank you. So that's all the information that you have, and it's enough. So I'm telling you that the first, the fifth, and the eleventh terms of an AP are also consecutive GP. Okay, now you don't need to have, I have the question here, so you can put your phone down, okay? I assume you were looking at the question there. Thank you. <coughs> you didn't need to show me I believed you, you look trustworthy. Uh, first, fifth, and eleventh of AP, and the seventh term is forty-two, and they're also consecutive GP. So, what's the four? What's the first term in AP? A. A. The fifth term, A plus four D, and the eleventh term, A plus ten D. But you're also told that they're consecutive uh, GP terms. The first term in a GP is A. A then. AR, then AR squared. This isn't so helpful, except to know that if I take this and divide it by this, what do I get? R. R. And if I take this and divide it by this, I get R. So the logic follows here as well. If I take this and divide it by this, I get R. And if I have this and divide it by this, it's also R. And they're equal, because they're both R. Now please write this down if you don't have it, so I can go to the next page. This is number four. So how do you know A plus 4D and A plus 10D? That's the formula for AP. What's the formula again? A plus N minus 1D. Um, all the answers are <coughs> right? The answers for this should be on the table <coughs> now, yeah. Yes, I am, Leslie. Don't worry. Okay, can I go down? Okay. Continue? Yes. I'll, go, I'll just go down a little bit. So, I bring the A up here to the right, and I bring this up to the left. And now I multiply. On the left, I get a squared plus 8ad plus 16d squared equals a squared plus 10ad. Nicely enough, the a squared cancels the a squared here. Uh, if I bring this 8ad to the left, I'll get in total 2ad. And on the left, what have I got? 16d I can cancel the d. I can cancel the two. Yeah, eight. So I get the nice result that A <coughs> equals eight D. Yes, Mustafa. How do you get uh, eight A D? Here? No. Here? Here? No. Yeah, yeah. I multiply these two. I multiply this eight one four. by this one. Okay, A multiplied four D to be A uh, four A D. 
a multiplied by 4d is you're right 4ad and then 4d multiplied by a is 4ad also yes sir what what happened to the second last step like here yes hey so I took the 16, uh, I left the 16d squared here, and I took the 8ad over to the right. What the heck is this? What is this? What's it mean, like, I understand? Yes. It's okay, I thought the man was okay. The man was okay, but the man was okay, finish. Finish. Okay. That's it, all right, That's okay. It. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, I've learned a new word today. So you want good words? I'll teach you. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> all right, so now I have A equals 8D. What I haven't used yet is that the seventh term is 42. So that means A plus 6D equals 42. But I know what A is. So I can put that inside, and I get 8d <coughs> plus 6d equals 42. So I get 14d equals 42, or what's that, 7d equals 21, so d equals 3. And if I want, I can find the a, because I know the d, a will be 24. Because I can put that, oh, sorry. I can put that in here, and I can get it. What's, where'd you get the plus 6D from? That's uh, in the and question. Okay, and uh, 16 is transferred to 8. Which one? 16. I don't see a 16. Oh, I divide by 2, yeah. OK. So okay. I want it like just like this? Nice. Please pass your phone up, because I've warned you before. Hey. Oh my god, you know. She has nine other passwords. Okay. Hey, come on. Now, that's the end of question four from the AP. Hey, come on. That's the end of question four from the APGP homework. Uh, so now I'll go on to powers now. So I'm going to do rules of powers, which is the first homework you had on your powers. No, uh, I'll do that one after it. Okay. Now, next. I think I probably did. Did, did I do any of these power ones yet? No, no, no. no. Um, oh, no, I did the one with the E. E4X, E2X, didn't I? No. no. No, okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, we just did logs, was it? Okay, I'll do question. I'll do question. You want me to do number one? Yeah. I'll do number one and number seven. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So, number one root x5 over cube root x7 equals 3. And, Saeed, <coughs> if I need to stop again because you're talking, I'll ask you to leave. Okay. Yes? Uh, I, I'm looking at root x5 over cube root x7 in my one here. Okay, so on the top, I get x5 over 2 because it's square root, and on the bottom, I get x. 7 over 3 because it's cube root. Why is it 5? Isn't it 5 over 1? The index is 2. Here it's square root. You don't write the 2. Okay. Okay. That was no. Now, because you, Sorry. because you divide, you subtract. So it's 5 over 2 minus 7 over 3. So 5 over 2 minus 7 over 3. That'd be 15 minus, so 1 over 6 equals 3. <coughs> uh, nearly finished. That's x power 1 over 6, but I want x power 1, or just x. So, well, I need to put a power on both sides. What power? 
Six. I put a power six on both sides. So I can cancel that and get the answer x equals three to the power of six. Yeah. Ah, but the first one's the question. You should have written this down. Scroll in. Not my phone. Whose phone? No one's phone. Just put it away, please. <laughs> Are you writing this down, please? Good. We have something similar, too. Okay. Uh... That's okay? Yes? So now number seven. So number seven. We did do this. Yeah, we did it. Do it again. Did we? Well, then will I do number eight then as another example? Yes, yes. E power 6x minus 2 e power 3x minus 15 equals zero. So this will be e power 3x squared minus 2 e power 3x minus 15 equals 0 because 3x times 2 of course is 6x but what you know is that this is quadratic where a equals 1 b equals minus 2 and <coughs> c equals minus 15 uh, the answer should be like 5 and 3 uh, x Minus 5x plus 3, so 5 and 3. So I get 5 and negative 3. Are they the two answers on your calculator? No, the other way around. Is it? Yes, is it right? Thank you. So I get E3x equals 5 and E3x equals minus 3. This one I reject. Why? Negative. Yeah, well, because E can't be negative. So I continue only with this side. I want the X. So what do I do to both sides? Yeah, I put a log here and a log here. The log and E cancel, so I get 3x equals 5. So I have my answer x equals, Let sorry, log 5. So I have my answer x equals 1 over 3, log 5. You don't want decimal answer? Um, he or she doesn't say. Oh, no, they do say four decimal places. So that would be, uh, what's that? Four decimal places, please. Log 5, what's that going to be? Like around about... 1.5, is it going to be 4.5? And did you divide by 3? Oh, is it divide or multiply? It was 1 over 3, divide by 3, not multiply. So what is it, 0 0.536? 5, 3, 6, okay. So what is log 5, by the way? Is it 1.5 or right? uh, 1.6. Okay. I seem to always be off by 0 0.1 with these. So in your very, like, you know, satellite, right Huh? You're sad about it? I'm not sad about it. I just, I'm always off by 0 0.1. I have to improve on this. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Keep I can't believe you just said that. Hello, 1990s. Kick him to the curb. Kick him to the curb? What the hell? Exactly. Okay. So that's powers now. Now on to, I think, probably what's more difficult is um, logs. Now, I remember, I did the first one already, and it's exactly like the first one in the worksheet. So I will definitely not do the first one now. Uh, so what other ones would people like to see here? Second one. Yeah, the second one. Okay. Because you already did the third one too. Uh, did I? Yeah. Probably. Okay. I'll do number two now. Yes? He, he has Moodle there, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good, okay. So, <laughs> now, second one now. So you want to solve log 5, 3x plus 1 equals log 25, 9 minus 8x. What number is this? This is the second one. Okay. Now, what's firstly, what's the fir uh, problem you see here? Yeah? The base isn't the same. So what rule do we use? Why change a base rule. Uh, which base is easier to change? Um, I think it is easier to change the 25. Uh, so you have here log 5, 3x plus 1 equals log 5, 9 minus 8x all over log 5, 25. What is log 525? Uh, 2. So that equals a half log 5, 9 minus 8x. Now, I cannot cancel the logs yet, even though they're the same base. Why not? Because the half. The half. So what I do is I bring this over here to make it 2. Yes? I multiply both sides oh, by 2. Yes? Excuse me, sir. Why did you put the half? Because log 525 yeah. is 2. What's 1 over 2? A half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I bring the half here to make it a 2. And then what do I do with this 2? You lift it. Put it here to the power. Now you have a log and a log, so what do I do next? Cancel. Cancel the logs. So now you're left with just 3x plus 1 squared equals 9 minus 8x. So I get 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 equals 9 minus 8x. So I get 9x squared plus 14x uh, minus 8 equals 0. Uh, what am I going to get here? It's going to have to be an x and x. Um, I need 8 and 3 and 3 for this. No, 9 and 1. 3 and 1. 2 and 2. No. 3 and 3. <coughs> 3 and 3 and 4 and 2, maybe. Yes. I'm not here to see No. Well, I'll, hang on. I'll pause this now. Okay, so just some people are having some questions now about the square here. What happened was this half came over here and became 2. Wow. And then the 2 came up here to the power, which I think was like the fourth rule of logs, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, hang on. One, 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 one question. Joseph. Awesome. Mohammed first, then Jingdong, yes? How was Jingdong? So 2 is multiplied over there, then shift it up. Yeah, that's a rule of logs. Jingdong? Uh, why is the half, what half do I have? The half, because Mohammed asked me also. Uh, I know. Lo yeah. Um, you two. yeah, it's 2 here, yeah? Uh, yeah. What's 1 over 2? A half. But this is like the fifth rule of logs. Okay, you take the point. <coughs> right, everybody listen. Look, I really don't know what the confusion is. So I'll just read through the whole question again and listen carefully, please. So the problem you see is that this base is different to this base. So I use the fifth rule of logs, which lets me change the base. What base do I want? Five. Five. So when I change the base from 25 to 5, the price I pay for doing this change of base is to divide by log 525. Now what's log 525? Two. two. And what's 1 over 2? Uh -huh. A half. And I bring the half over here and it becomes 2. And then I bring the 2 up to the power and it becomes square. And now I cancel both logs and I just have this. Mm. 
That's some good solving. Yes? Do part one. Oh, yeah, I'll do part one. Sorry, yeah. This is part two, actually. The answer is 4x minus 9 and x plus 2. I'll just go straight to the x answer here, please. Minus 2 and 4 over 9. Okay. X equals minus 2 or 4 over 9. Four over nine. Now, that's part 2. I'll scroll back down, don't worry. That's part 2. What I didn't actually say was part 1, which is when are these defined. You require 3x plus 1 to be positive, yes? Yeah. And you also require 9 minus 8x to be positive, yes? So that means you require x to be more than minus 1 over 3. And I'll just remove this x to be, well, hang on. I'll put it in here. x to be uh, 8x, 9 over 8, sorry. Where's the spider? Oh my Where's god, there's a spider. Sir, don't move, it's all right. Don't move. <laughs> I got it on the control. There's a spider <laughs> above your head. <laughs> Spider heaven, so nobody needs to worry, okay? I tell you what, if this spider could do maths, I wouldn't kill it. Alright? Now, continuing with this. By the way, I'm scared of this kid. Come on! I only have so much time, and I'd like to do these, please. Please, Your Majesty. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. Right, 9 over 8, x is less than that, okay? So there are the two requirements for x. x to be more than minus 1 over 3, and x to be less than 9 over 8. So if I was to go back to my two answers down the bottom, you have to check it. I have to check it. Is this one more than minus 1 over 3? Yes. Yes, and so is this yes. one. Yes. Now, is it more, is uh, it less than 9 over 8? Hey. Is this less than 9 over 8? Yes. yes. No, no. Wait. Yeah, this is less yes. than 9 yeah. over 8. Go with the slope. It's not more than 1 over 3. It's not more than 1 over 3. Sorry. It's 1 over 3, it's not more than that. Yeah. No, it's less than that. And this one is more than for both. Yeah. So this one fails because it doesn't meet both requirements. And this one passes. So we only have one answer. X is equal to... 4 over 9. Uh, so that's number 2 then. So I think I'll have to move on to the next one so we can have a look at different types now. Sir, can you scroll up? Scroll up. I'll just uh, copy it. How far? Yeah, no, up there. Yeah, okay, it's Now this would be funny normally, but I don't have much time. Okay, so. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, this will make it worse. Yeah, but I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. So I'm going to do. Um, I think I did one for the exponential, didn't I? No. Yes, yes you did. The hotel one. With the question yeah. form. Huh? You did question form. You want me to do number one? Which one? Oh, this one. Yeah, I did it. It's up the top there. That's it. Okay. Uh, for, do I need to do any from the exponential or not? Because look, guys, there's not a lot of time, and I don't really have time to do more revision. So you need to decide carefully what you want me to do now. Will I skip exponential, or do you need to see it? I did one. So. Last question on last one. The exponential. Oh, so I'm yeah. Okay, I'm not going to do convert in radians. Um, 
Did I do one of these? That's okay. It's generally the idea that people want to see a sine cosine graph again. Yes. yes. Now you have a choice. Do you want me to do one where you draw it or one where you work backwards? Backwards. 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 Right, I'll tell you what. I think there's enough time. I'll do number one and number four. Okay. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Uh, sine cosine graphs. <laughs> no, sir. No, you guys have English, though. We don't. I do. No, 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 no. Look, you can make fun of Joseph after I do this. <laughs> now, number one. So I ask you to draw y equals sine three theta plus one. Shh. Now, first, yeah, first one. Do the first one. Three theta. Now, uh, start and min max, and it'll always be 0, 2 pi, minus 1, 1. First, let's look at, um, well, it doesn't matter which here so much. Uh, if I was to look at the 1 first, it lifts the graph up one unit, so this now becomes 0 and 2. And then I look at the tree now, and it. what does the tree do? It, instead of being like this, it compresses. It makes it smaller. How many times smaller? Three times smaller. So instead of finishing at 2 pi, it will now finish at 2 pi over 3. 0, 0, 2. So let's draw this now. This graph here would start at 0. There's 1, there's 2, and it goes to 2 pi over 3. Uh, so I think I'll go up and... Um, well, no, I, yeah, I'll take care of that part later. But I still need to draw my full box anyways. You go by 45s. I think... Um, no, no, maybe I'll go up by pi's over 3, up in 60s. So there's pi over 3, and then what's the next one? 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and there's the last one, 5 pi over 3, isn't it? Uh, sorry, I went too far. No, no, because the question says radians. Uh, I think actually pi over 3 is too big. Uh, maybe pi over 6. Pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3, and then 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2. And then 4 pi over 6, which is 2 over 3 pi. And then 5 pi over 6. And then the last one, 6 pi over 6, which is just pi. Now, uh, where do I start? 0. Where do I finish? 2 pi over 3. What's my minimum? 0. And my maximum? 2. Sorry, I should scroll up for you here. So I put my box in. Put it in here, and then split it up into four. <laughs> so that's it there. And now I put the graph in. Sine, isn't it? So I start where? Top, middle, or bottom? Bottom. Middle for sine. Yeah. Yeah. I go up, down, down, back here, and then it continues in this pattern. Up, uh, and then down. Sorry, it's down again after two blocks. So I kind of drew these a little bit too big. Down. So do they specify the intervals? Yes. I'm sorry, this is getting really bad now, but uh, it just continues like this. No, they don't specify the intervals. So it doesn't matter. I, I'm sorry, these, this is a little bit too big. This should be a little bit more to the left, and this pi should be a little bit more to the left. There we go, that's better. Yes. Yes? Sorry, and it doesn't, what am I doing? I'm so tired. So sick today. It doesn't go underneath. It just goes back up then. There we go. Well, they just want you to go to pi, so actually you can stop here. 
So for the exam, they just want you to go to here and start it here. They, they, they said, the they said that in the question, zero to pi. Oh. Yeah? Basil, what's your question, Mustafa? You want to show it's easier? <coughs> yes. You can mark if this one, if this one was here. No, you, you, no, no, you have, you have, you have, yeah, you have, no, no, I see what you mean. Uh, not so much, no. Uh, what they really care about is the maximum, the minimum, the start, the end, and the shape. So no matter if this one was here. If you're a little bit off here, it's okay. I don't think you'll lose any marks. Okay. Now, uh, once you write this down, we're going to do now number four, I said. What sheet mark on? I'm sick, I'm tired. I'm going to go home after this class. And that's what's getting me through the, the next bottom, five minutes. Top and bottom. <laughs> <laughs> the day's over. No. Right. I don't, yes. Okay, can I go to number four now? Yes? Okay. So in number four, they tell you the graph is A sine b theta plus c plus d. Same worksheet? Uh, same worksheet. Now, Which question? this is number four. Now, in the past, what I normally do is I show you a process to calculate a, b, c, d. But I have a feeling that people would be very happy if I just gave them a formula to calculate a, b, c, d. <coughs> do you want a process or do you want oh, a formula? formula. Wow. Yeah. Of course. So I'll give you the formula. And the formula is for three of them, but there's no formula for the fourth one, but you'll get three out of four of these from a formula. So the first thing you should always get is the A. Uh, and the A will equal the maximum minus the minimum divided by two. That would be the A. Uh, the D is the one you get next, and that would be, um, no, I have to get make sure I get the sign right. Uh, it'll be the maximum uh, minus A. So let me just double check that one. Uh, that would be a 4, uh, 0 minus 4, negative 4, yeah. Uh, so that's the formula for D. Okay. Next one, the B. The B equals, um, let me get again, let me get this the right way around, and minus start, and sorry, the 2 pi is on the top of that, so it's just write 2 pi above that. So it's 2 pi over end minus start. So let me just double check that. Uh, 13 pi, 12 pi, 2 pi over 12 pi, 1 over 6 makes it, yeah. So there's the A, D, and B formulas. So for example, in number four, the maximum is zero and the minimum is minus eight. So zero minus minus eight over two, four. In the graph in number four, the maximum is zero. So zero minus four, negative four. This graph finishes at 13 pi and begins at pi. So. 13 pi minus pi? 12 pi. 12 pi. 2 pi over 12 pi? 1 over 6. Then what you do, once you have the A, B, uh, the A, D, and B, you put it back in. So A, 4. B, 1 over 6. C, you don't know. D minus 4. And then you put in the theta and you put in the, uh, the, the value. So pick any point on the graph. What's an easy point to read on this graph? Zero, pi. No, because, uh, yeah, pi, zero. Pi, zero. So you put in for theta, pi, and y is zero. And this formula will give you the last piece of information, the C. So I take the 4 over. 4 equals 4 sine pi over 6 plus c, 
4 divided by 4? 1. Now, how do I cancel the sign? How do I cancel sign? Come on, sine inverse. So sine inverse 1 equals pi over 6 plus c. Uh, sine inverse 1 is pi over 2. So pi over 2 equals pi over 6 plus c. So that will be c equal to, uh, what's that going to be? Three, my, uh, two over, two, 1 over 3 pi? Is it? 3 over 6, no, 2 over 6, 1 over 3 pi. So you have to see. Just yeah. Second. How far? Yeah, stop. Okay, look at 0 is equal to 4 sine, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. Where, what's 4 over 4? I, divide, I brought the 4, the minus 4 to the left. Where's the minus? Oh, no. <sighs> what? No, thank you, Joseph. Okay. Go up or down? Go down? Down, down. Just mute that, please. Yes, yes. No, 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 just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just mute it in future. Voila. All right. Do you all have this? Wait. I say when class is dismissed. Class dismissed. No, the clock says class dismissed. Not yet.